Hello, my name is Johnny Chaff, and today we're going to talk about how to replace a warranty replacement pump on the 5550 Collins Hydraulic, also referred to as the Collins Heavy Duty Pump, used on our barber chairs. First thing Corey and I are going to do is going to take the barber chair off of the pump, hold down the treadle, we're going to count to three, one, two, three, pops off. Thank you, Corey. Next we'll begin the disassembly of our pump. The, the tools that you're going to need to take the pump apart, number two Phillips screwdriver, 7 16 wrench, 9 16 wrench or socket, a quarter inch bolt or a quarter inch pin punch, and a hammer. First thing we'll do is use the pin punch to drive the roll pin out of the top of our pump. We'll do that by inserting the bolt in one side. hammer to drive the roll pin out. We're going to reuse the roll pin. So we set this up. The other thing you want to do is return the pump shaft to its lowest position, hold down the treadle, push it all the way down. That will assist you to make it easier to get it back in the box whenever you return it to Collins. Now we'll take the 7 16 wrench, we'll loosen the bolts that hold the treadle in place. There's one on each side. Now two things about the treadle you need to remember, the treadle passes across the pump and it should be oriented downwards when you install it again. The other thing is, is there's little holes that the bolt threads through this axle and into these holes to help retain it in place. It's important that you line those up when you put the treadle back in. Now we remove our cap. And again we're going to set it aside because we're going to reuse it. And we're ready to remove the pump from the base. pump is heavy so be careful when you're handling it. Now we want to take this little rubber gasket off. We're going to reuse it. Set this pump aside. It's ready to be returned to Collins. Get our new cylinder. The gasket goes on with the widest part which will eventually be down. It's what, fate, it's what touches the plate. When you're ready to put it on, this key shape fits into this slot in the pump. Start all three before you tighten any of them down. Look, these pretty tight. Install our trail. Again, the trail passes across the pump. And we wiggle it to make sure that the bolt goes into the recess that we mentioned earlier. And we're ready to tap the trail.
cap. It's got two notches for the axle. Install the rope in. We're going to pump the pump up a little bit. Make it easier to install the rope in. Please note that the rope in only drives in halfway. It does not go all the way in. Now we're ready to put our chair on. I'm going to the rope in to orient like that. A lot easier with two people. So I have it locked on the pin. Make sure that the roll pin engages the slot in the front of the seat casting. Once it happens, the chair is ready to return back to use. Thank you.